Intel. Welcome back to the live stream. I think we're I think we're live right now. Well, I see see over here it says propagating, but on the Okay, but on the YouTube it says I'm live. Okay, I think I'm live. All right, cool. So welcome back to Auto Transport Intel. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, this is the dispatching live segment. Uh, it's like a monthly segment. We're going to be doing this, and I've got Sue Murphy Auto Dispatch Services. She's going to be joining me. We're going to be doing some dispatching. If you have dispatching questions, you can put them in the live chat. We're multicasting live on CTS Facebook page, Auto Transport Intel Facebook page, and of course, Auto Transport Intel YouTube channel. And uh, don't be shy. Listen, if you need help, the, the fewer the people here, the better for you. So if you've got a route you're searching, if you have a dispatch question, we're going to jump into that. So, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's do this. Let's go to the, we're going to go to the CTS business coaching question of the day. The question of the day is what dispatching advice do you need help with? Because that is the purpose of this show. Okay, wait, so let's get, here we go. There's my camera. All right. So, do, Hey, do you need dispatching help? This is dispatching live with ATI. If you're looking for training, I do have an online training series. If you want some training in person for your company, let me know. Contact me, autotransportintel at gmail.com. And let's go live with Sue. Hey, Sue, can you hear me? Hey. I can hear you, Jay. Can you hear me? All right. I can hear you. The levels look good. Cool. So we're live. So what are we doing today, Sue? We are going to be looking for a four car that I've got in Detroit. He has got a 2018 Infinity trailer, which is basically a flatbed with two that go up in the air on hydraulics. Um, pretty much he can haul everything. So that's an excellent trailer. They're just very expensive. <laughs> um, so we're going to start looking out of Detroit. And usually Detroit is a wonderful place to get out of, kind of like Ohio, Kentucky. Um, let's kind of see what's on here. The hot spots I like to go to is either Kansas City, St. Louis. Um, let's kind of let's start looking at Kansas City first. Awesome. And like I said before, and I mean it here, and I'm going to put this into the live chat. If you've got a dispatching question, go ahead and type it into the live chat. I'm looking, I'm on, we're on Facebook. I'm on two Facebook pages plus the new YouTube channel. If you need dispatching advice, please type your question. We'll check your route. We'll answer your question, and until we get questions, we're going to... Uh, so you're actively looking for, like you said, a four car right now? Right now, yeah. Like, see, look, this is... I know this is up north, but if you're looking for loads that are all together, oh, that would yeah. be a good load. What, um, what about, okay, but this, three this, 1500s? Well, my guy can take that. Oh. That's not typically what anybody can take. Okay. Um, this flatbed he has is awesome but oh, nice. i mean it was like 40 grand too so there is that anyways but um he can always take three pickups in a car that that's not usually an issue um that's still four on i personally like this one's good um this one's even better this buick electra however my guy's getting we want to load him for today and as you can see this isn't ready until saturday by the way, and that's one of the things you got to kind of watch when you're looking. Hey, a, a good tip. Hey, do me a favor. Hit that control plus a couple times just to make your screen bigger. Um, oh. But I like what you said. Such That's such key advice is when is it ready to ship? Good. Because yeah. just because it was. And a cool, lot of guys yeah. when they're new don't see that. Oh. I mean, we even miss it sometimes too. Sure. So. Yeah. No, it, it, you get excited and then you're like, dang it. It's not yeah. ready. Yeah. Oh my God. There's a good load. There's a good load. <laughs> yeah. Um, these cars arrive loads aren't bad right here. These two that are in brownstone for $460 a piece are not bad at all. Oh, nice. Um, actually look, they've got, yeah. they've got three of them. You know what? I see that. Isn't that interesting yeah. when you see that you're like, okay, why are they posted individually? Why are they still available? Yeah. What's wrong with them? I made a video where I was like, it's gotta be something wrong. It's too good. Actually, I think that's great. Well, and let, and really, and here's the thing: these may not be available. Let's go look. Yeah. Because cars arrive does not pull them off until 
Um, it's like there's an auto so dump this is or something. Did. Yeah, exactly. When, yeah. When cars it arrive, takes so long for them to take them off the board. Well, yeah. and I, again, I think it's a technology oh. thing. Oh, there yeah. it is. There's only actually They're one on left. Here. Yeah. Well, no, I only put one. See, what I do is I I can do it a different way. Oh, so. interesting. Okay. I put them in just, I go in and put the load number in first because oh. I think it's quicker, faster sometimes. That is, okay. Good. But you can put it in I didn't know like that. this. Good tip. Let's put in. Look, put in Michigan, and we're going to move. Hey, what's up, Top Trending? Thanks for joining. Again, if anybody has a, if you got a dispatching question, I'm live with Sue at Murphy Auto Dispatch Services. Right now, she's uh, looking at the route of a four car. So is, he's picking so up in the Detroit. Oh, they're still there. Oh, my God. That's awesome. They've actually they got more than that. Look at them. They got this one's for $560 right there. Right. And always so, go for and the that's smaller not even ones first, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I like Although, I grab my yeah. best paint ones first, and then work my way down. Right. And look, they've even got this one. Right. So wow. Wow. Well, Independence, Kansas is not Kansas City, Missouri. It's, One of the first mistakes I ever did way back 15 years ago. Oh, oh my God! You're <laughs> right. Wasn't, you're not paying attention. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Independence, Missouri is totally different from Independence, Kansas. Different than Independence, oh my Kansas. Gosh. Yeah. I did that one time. I sent a guy out of the Texas. Oh man, it was ridiculous. Yeah, you got to be yeah. careful. You got to check those cities, man. Yes, <laughs> I caught it at least before we went and picked it. Well, up. you did. No, <laughs> yes, it does and, happen. And that's one of the things I like about having you on and doing this together is that you catch all. You've already made all those mistakes. Yeah. So you catch yourself. And it helps yeah. <laughs> when you're doing your own, you know, yeah. yeah. But I would take, like, I mean, basically, this is a full load for somebody if you can carry this kind of stuff. A normal, awesome. just so you guys know, a normal four car is not going to be able to handle all these SUVs and trucks. Amen. A normal four car that most people have out there are going to be like the um, Kaufmans and Appalachians. And that is two cars, two SUVs. Sometimes you can put a truck. Appalachian is built differently than the Kaufman. Um, for some reason, the deck on the top is wider than it is on the bottom. So if you're going to take a truck or anything wide, you have to put it on the top, which means you're going to be heavy on the top. So you have to kind of watch what you're doing when you're loading. Um, the Kaufman is a 102 wide on the bottom. So you can usually put one truck on the bottom and then you can stack the stuff around it. But you still always have to have that car in that whole spot. So this is not going to normally fit on a normal person. However, look at this. They also have a car right there. Wow, so amazing. there's one car there. You could still take two of these SUVs and then still look for another car through somebody else if you're signed up with cars running. Um, I know personally, truly, I would probably take these. Person, huh? Yeah, personally, this is the kind of stuff that I would look for, meaning that I would yeah. I would love. You don't see this every day. Yeah. No, I would put this on my driver. Yeah. I bing bang boom, and it would be done. Yeah. Do, um, do you need to do that? And that's do a you, quick load. And are you gonna? What are you gonna do? I, not. Um. Not for this guy in particular because he doesn't yeah. want to go this direction just yet. Right. Um, right. Isn't that? Hey, isn't that such a big part of it? You got to know where your driver <laughs> wants to go. Yes. Yeah. You can't and just book it. Honestly, up. I I look at Kansas City and I look at St. Mm -hmm. Louis. He doesn't really want to head to Kansas City because Kansas City's been really dry lately it's and he to wants get to go home of. to Chicago. Actually, I, yes. I don't like, yeah. And that might be why this load is still sitting here. I Kansas that City, could be. I mean, I, dude, I live near Kansas City and it's not the easiest yeah. place to get out of. It's just. No, sometimes it's fine. But for the last, I'd say a month, month and a half. Well, actually, every place has been hard, but. Yeah, right. You know. Well, and this is. Go with that. <laughs> this is where if you do, if you know some of the dealerships and you have those yep. relationships, you can call them like Hendrick or McCarthy. If, if you know yep. somebody, if you just cold call, man, that's I don't even think that works. No, I, I recommend if you've hauled for them before. And, and honestly, if you're hauling for the first time, if you go in when you deliver to them. And you introduce yourself and hand out your business card and say, hey, next time you have one, don't list it on Central. Give me a call. See if I'm in the area nice. or come in with donuts for the whole office. <laughs> right. I've had guys do that before, too, which is I mean, I, mean, I hate to say this, but and, food works. <laughs> and, it, and it's not always practical. I realize that, too. Like, you can't just yeah. show up everywhere yeah. with donuts. I get that. But if you're able to 
if you have a representative, and this is why staffs grow. Hey, by the way, uh, Sue, Top Trending is yes. asking us if we can check some loads out of Houston. So if if we're able to. Keep, yeah. keep doing what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, great. Thank you, Top Trending. Thanks for the request. Hey, Ty is in here, too. Is this where you find cars? Well, this is where you find cars on load boards, Ty. How do you like those apples? We're actually doing it. She won't come up to 350. All right, talk to her. All right. So where does he want to look at from at to Houston? Well, he said Houston, and I think he's probably going to let us know where he'd prefer to go. Okay. As you and I both know, Houston to everywhere. I call Houston the spinning dartboard. I've always said that. Yeah. Because you just get you get yeah. Massachusetts, Utah, Arizona, Florida. Yeah. It's whack. Yep. But but the loads do come. And they're cheap. And they're yeah. cheap. Oh they're my just gosh. cheap, cheap, and cheap. Cheap yeah. too. Yeah, it's brutal. I mean, I've got a driver that lives in Houston, and it is always a pain to get him out every time. What I would do, and, uh, if, when I when I ended up in Houston, and I, and he, in fact, would, which one would you pick? Kansas? Would you go to Kansas City before you go to Houston? How would you? How do you view that? Oh hell yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, oops, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, top trending says uh, he's he's looking at the Carolinas. Um, out of, <laughs> out of Houston to nice. North Carolina. Yeah, so Carolinas, Georgia, Southeast. And that, so he's in Houston right now. Right. It looks like he's in Houston or he's going to be empty there. He's look, he's looking at East Coast, I-95 corridor. Um, and I'll tell you, mm. what I've done with Houston is what can be helpful is if you go to Louisiana, you know, you go state by uh -huh. state. And even though it'll cost Louisiana, time, Alabama, Mississippi. You, you'll make a, a lot yeah. more money, yeah, if you do that. Yeah. Um, in fact, yeah, like, that's what I recommend too. Yeah. If you do like Louisiana, he, Mississippi to the Carolinas, you can actually do all right. Yeah. Um, if you try to go straight there, you're not even going to come close to 50 cents a mile right. ever. So, um, which, or it's going to be a 5,500 and it's still paying 55, 55 cents a mile. Which is why, like yeah. If you, if you go somewhere like Houston or Kansas city, you never want to be on a tight timeline because you might have to sit for a minute. Or right, or so do a do connection, Alabama, yeah. Because like Kansas City, I've done. You can get loads to like you can find. You're gonna find a couple of your anchors up to like maybe PA or Ohio, but you're gonna have to do some fillers like Kentucky, uh, Tennessee, and it'll be a little off route to make you know to to get to make that nut. You know, <laughs> right? We were talking about you got to cover your nut. Right, that you right. Yes. You have you got to know how you much you find your nut, and then you work around it. <laughs> right, and you got to make that. You got to find a way to make that money per day to cover your nut insurance, truck, trailer, fuel, maintenance, paying yourself, all that stuff. And that's why we do the dispatching live show. I mean, I like I really like this format, um, and I'm I'm proud that this is the second time going live on dispatching live this year. Actually, I started this show in 2018, brought it back, and Sue. So, what are we seeing here? Any, is there anything you like? Well, there's this Chevy Express cargo van. It's only 47 cents a mile, and I bet you money it's a 25 or a 3500. Um, and look, you got a 4500. I mean, don't get me wrong, 92 cents a mile is good, but that 4500 is big. Big truck. That's a so, big truck. So, if you're a three car, you're only going to manage to take two because i guarantee you it's going to weigh too much to put and length is going to be a problem exactly and now, um, once you tell them, like there's one going on once you tell that dealership huh? you're once you call that dealership and tell them yeah. you're taking it you are stuck with it yes i mean technically yes there are ways to get out of things i mean we cancel loads i try not to do i think it's bad karma to cancel a load karma. for another car that's only paying 50 50 more if it's paying two hundred dollars more, don't get me wrong, I'll cancel it. But well, twenty five, yeah. fifty dollars, I think it's bad karma. It's going to come back to you just later down the road, where a car isn't going to be where it's supposed to be, or it gets canceled on you. So I usually do not do it. And you have to be careful with people you cancel loads with. Um, for one, you got to be call them immediately, take care of it, follow up, and make sure it gets canceled off of you. I've had them not cancel them off of you. Then they want to give you a negative because they claimed you never called them. Uh, for a late show exactly. and it, it's there's a lot of communication involved in all of this stuff and also when canceling 
I mean, use a good excuse, okay? <laughs> right. um, I've, I've had people where there's certain brokers, that they'll, they'll even want uh, like the bill, like if you say you're broke down, I wanna see a bill of where you're broke down and stuff like that. And I've been doing this long enough, I know who I can cancel with and who I can't. And don't get me wrong, there's new people on here all the time that are listing cars. I don't wanna, I don't know how to say this, but they're usually not from America. And they will give you negatives without a thought. If you cancel on them, they're giving you a negative. I, I you know, deal with this on a daily basis. And I want to add, it, it, I was thinking about this yesterday. If you call to book a load and, you know, they're kind of like, you know, what's the load number and rough with you? You right. know right now. Right. Yeah. Yep. You better really like this be car. Pain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and don't cancel yeah. over 50 I, bucks. I, I just put that in the live chat. I agree with you. Do not cancel yeah. over 50 bucks. Hey, what about that? Yeah. What about that 45 cent a mile five pack? If if you were a five car, I mean, it doesn't look like they're big, so you wouldn't. It wouldn't be bad to get you out of there if you're a five car. Right. I would jump on that. Exactly. Because um, like now you. Get, I know forty five cents is not great, it's but not. It's still, a, it's, yeah, you're at least in Baton Rouge, and you get better loads out of Baton Rouge. And unfortunately, or New Orleans, too. that's the going rate. You see in that top trending yeah. Houston to Baton Rouge five pack. That might get yeah. you out of there, get you moving. You you probably come close. Sometimes to, these yeah. people will split them too. If you talk to them nice, yeah. some of these people will split them. If you're not a five car, I mean that would fit on a normal five car. But if you're not, I sometimes ask them to split it. They don't always do it, but it's worth a shot. You can never know until you ask. It, it, and, and I agree um, with you. And if the you know if the if the if they like you as a carrier, they'll you know they'll work with you. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, Unless and they just post a lot it. of it is reputation. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and now, there you go. On there. And there's Let's a see. Houston, New Orleans, and you can Three put 11. Baton Rouge and New Orleans together. I don't know what mm -hmm. size. Top yeah. And also, is. well, and that helps you too, because if you drop in Baton Rouge, you know that you have Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Slidell, Gulfport, Mississippi to Slide hit L. along your way as you're going across. Exactly. Yeah. Slidell is awesome. Uh, but now when you do those things, right, because if you're dropping in, there's some cities west of the Baton Rouge, New Orleans area. And if, you're, Lafayette, and if you have to Lafayette backtrack works. to pick up, now you've really messed up your schedule. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're going to drop in Lafayette, you can do Lafayette before Baton Rouge. Um, but you don't want to pick up in Lafayette unless you check this you know, out. Hey, top trending. Has, top trending has a five car Sun Country, dude. Grab the Baton Rouge five. Call it. Yeah, yeah, dude. Take that load. There it is. So that's a perfect load. We for found. You right there. We did. We found it. Houston Baton Rouge with RNE Ford Trucking, two cars, three SUVs, COD. Go grab it, buddy. I hopefully that helps you out. That's what this show's all about, Let's man. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and ring the bell on that one. I think. <laughs> I think that that was a pretty good find. Which, okay, now, yeah. so he knows. Look, tell him to look. But I always look at these people. Yeah. You see this guy's a carrier listing cars? Yeah. Right, a carrier ah. listing cars. Whoa. Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now, now, listen. It is? What we're saying is, to clarify, we're not saying that's a problem. But when no. we talk about illegal dispatchers, what we're talking about is illegal brokering by anybody, brokers, carriers, dispatchers, yep. whoever. Yep. So if RNE yep. doesn't have a broker's license and a broker's bond, well, they're going to fall under the category of questionable. I'm not saying there's a problem, but I am trying. We're drawing attention to dispatchers are not the problem. Illegal brokering right. is the problem. Yeah. And this one is COD, so I wouldn't be worried about it unless you call him and he says all of a sudden, well, we're going to pay you this way instead. <laughs> then you then you kind of look into it. Um, the good thing is, if you look, he's got 31 ratings. He's I've 100%. Heard of that. I feel like I've heard so, of that company. I think he's all right. Uh, let's see when he started. Plus, he started back in 2016, so it's quite possible. Plus, he's yeah. in the area. I like that, too. Uh, right. He is, he's in, yeah. Yeah, he's right? in, yeah, he's from Prairieville, Louisiana. Yeah. So he, this is probably yep, a customer good. of his mm -hmm. and he just, you yep. know, logistically, I think all carriers will end up as brokers eventually anyways, because logistically, if you're serving your customer, you just can't do it all. There's right. Nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. That's how this industry works. Well, you, right. And the only thing, uh, problem I have with carriers doing this is not paying us 
I know. Um, because I'm a broker and I dispatch for transporters and this happens all the time. <laughs> so, oh, no. um, but it is CFD. I it's not always a, check the rating. It's not a 30 yeah, day. It's, it's CFD. CFD. I, I'm going to say that is a legit load. I'd go with load. it. Yeah. yeah. And it's ready to go. And I, just I tell don't... them, keep in mind, call, call, and call. Because usually when you call a carrier for a load, they don't answer. Right, they're busy. If they don't answer, text them. And by the yeah, way, they're busy working. Look at the reference ID. It's Baton Rouge, which means he didn't even, he mm -hmm. didn't even take the time to worry about numbers. He just, he needs it moved. He's, it, it, yep. this is ready to go. Yeah. You know, because when you have that, I would do it. If my if I had a five car there, I'd take it. Yeah, I'd get them out of there. I would too. Just because, just because Houston is so dry, that's the worst part of it, yeah, right there. Exactly, and because it could look, be especially you go to Beaumont. Dude, look at those. If it's auction to auction, like score. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, wow. those trucks. Go back to those trucks. I. Yeah, that's that crazy. Stuff bugs me uh, now. Barco Rent a Truck is a major company. I think they're based out of Utah. Yeah. And they, they yep. move trucks so. nonstop. Yeah. They know what they're doing. So if you're, you know, if you could fit it and you're going that way and you can, you know, negotiate the deal that makes sense. But those are heavy trucks. Yeah. And yeah, it's not the greatest rate, but it's, I mean, that's the problem. It's Houston. Oh, and look at that. It's Beaumont. So it's east of Houston. Yeah. So if you're. Well, you're going to Charlotte to drop them At off. least you can go through there, but yeah. still. What, what makes it worse is, okay, so you add that 71 miles onto it. It's not even 49 cents a mile, though. Either, right. Because you're in Houston, so. And, look at this. And it's not this COD. Is, I think this is worse. This is an F550. Oh, man. Oh, going all the way. Wheel, that thing is, yeah. And it's a flatbed, so you know it's probably a bigger flatbed than a normal yeah. flatbed, and those flatbeds are heavier because they're usually full steel. So, right. Um, yeah, good point. Yeah. Yeah, good point. There's one. Oh, that one's not ready. Here's a cargo van. Now, it's only 48 cents a month. Does anybody need dispatching advice help uh, if you're out there? Because we're not going to make this a long show. We're going to we're going to search for another 10 minutes or so. Then we're going to look at some documents and then we're going to wrap it up. Um, I didn't hear back from there was that guy that had asked a question. And I had not heard back from him. Dude. It's busy. I mean, we're all busy. Everybody's got things going on. Yeah. Tune if even yeah. if you're tuning in right now, tuning in. This is teaching live. Uh, we're gonna do this monthly. If you have a question, I question if you got a route you're looking at. Maybe you've got a technology. Question, you know which look you want to look at. Um, have you watched top twelve car hauling? Um, anyways, you can check that out. I can send you the link. J at Auto Transport Intel. Auto Transport Intel at gmail .com. Hey, Sue, what's your email address again? It is Murphy, M U R P H Y, Auto Transport 31 at yahoo.com. Okay. Let's put that in here. A bit of, uh, I was just pulling up the a little bit of internet loss here. Ish. I'm gonna, uh, yeah. I'm going to... Oh, and maybe, maybe that'll help. Uh, I, I, you sound better now. Yeah, and I think it could be me. Well, you did. So, Murphy Auto Transport 31 at Yahoo.com? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and actually, wow, I don't normally have internet dropout, but I think that was on my end. Murphy Auto Transport at Yahoo.com. Let's see. So I put up Detroit back again, and I put a minimum of seventy-five cents a mile, and it still came up with five hundred loads. So <laughs> I'm just curious here. Let's see what kind of rates we got on here. If you can get to Detroit or Ohio, you can always make bank usually coming out. Just for everybody's knowledge, <laughs> a lot of people don't like doing it right. uh, because of weather and stuff like that. That's what I recommend. 
anytime we can get up in that direction because it's hard to get to those places there's the loads going there are usually non-existent or they only pay if you're lucky 50 cents a mile but you can always make almost three dollars a mile coming out if you're you know even a three or four car they pay bank so, and i agree with that I, wow here, what's interesting is if you're not trapped into some time schedule you got to get home really the go home the better well, that sounds crazy but yeah if you ever something really good that'll to uh michigan ohio grab it yeah because you will make money coming south and if you're not making money is the reason why there's so many of these if, if you're yeah. not making money coming out of detroit or ohio something's wrong Yes, because even even if you are not signed up with all the major brokers, there's still usually good loads on here, one way or the other. Because mm -hmm. look at, I mean, and that's mommy though. Oh, here we go. Here's a good that's question. Bold yes. Auto Logistics. Yeah. Hi, what is usual? What is usual dry areas in the Midwest? Um. Well, I mean, of course, dry areas are depending on what time of the year. Right now, Dallas is dry. Houston is always dry, so I don't, don't recommend it. Yeah. But um, Dallas is kind of a, you know, sometimes you're good, sometimes you're bad. Like, we were fine at the beginning of the week out of Dallas. At, now we're at the end of the week. It's been really rough. Um, and then you got, um, on top of it, let's see, Kansas City is dry right now. St. Louis is so-so. The problem with a lot of like Kansas City, St. Louis is a lot of those loads go to Nashville, Tennessee. And as we all know, you can't get out of Tennessee right now because of all of the uh, the Mannheim being down because of the uh, tornado that hit it. So a lot of these loads, they're moving them to different places. Don't get me wrong. But if you're a multi-car carrier, I just had a guy go in there to Nashville. I did get him out. I got him a nine car pack, but he's only going to Atlanta out of Nashville. Um, although it wasn't bad money still. Um, so never go to Omaha, it's really rough. <laughs> um, what other places? Don't go to Springfield. Springfield's usually rough unless you want to go to Dallas. That's usually the most of the loads out of Springfield, Missouri, go to Dallas, Tennessee. Um, Memphis is usually kind of dry. You have to be there certain times of the year too. Atlanta has not been too bad lately. Ooh, Atlanta, um, interesting well, that Atlanta. Kentucky. And you know, it's you were talking about Nebraska. In Nebraska and Iowa, they they mm -hmm. can be good, but you have to know what you're doing. Right, right. Like we we just sent a guy there to Nebraska, um, and I don't like I said I don't usually do this, but we there was a four pack going to Omaha area. We've already got him loaded out of Omaha, but we're going to Oklahoma. So if it's some place you need to go home from don't do it you've got to go to places if you, you know you've got to be at a certain place then you kind of have to watch what you're doing and a lot of this is trial and error and having had the experience of what you're trying to do to know where to go i hate to say it like that but that's part of it um yeah and we got them all out to oklahoma but if he had wanted to go home we wouldn't have gotten them out of there but and uh, you know it's just, interesting. It's just, it's just not awesome. oklahoma oklahoma and tulsa and then, you know, you can add Arkansas to it. It can be good, but yeah, yeah. again, it's, it, what's, what's really, what I think one of the things that makes this job so hard and makes dispatchers so necessary is that as soon as you're looking at a route, now you have to check getting out of there. And if you're driving a truck, I don't right. know how you do all that. I it's how impossible are, I think how are that's you gonna, why how are you going to yeah. check multiple load boards and multiple routes constantly right. while you're driving I have no idea I still don't know no but I know a couple it, guys that do it, it and they're freaking yeah. geniuses man well and I know that like central has a thing where you can pay and they let you know about loads that pop up um, you can use dispatch center. I was playing with that with Mark the other day. They've got a great thing with, they will also show you backhauls out of wherever they're at. Nice. If they're there, yeah. doesn't mean they're there, but you know, you can check it before you do it. Um, and also United road, the Holly board now offers backhauls when you take. Oh, a load. nice. 
yeah, here's this is the Holly board right here. Yeah, I was just uh, let's thank say, you. I was just gonna ask you to pull that up. Yeah, so let's pull this up and see what it. And does. let's let's go ahead and we're gonna go into some documents now. Thank you, Bold. Appreciate that. Um, let's see. let's yeah let's go ahead and we're gonna show a few load boards. We're gonna show some dispatch sheets, and we're gonna round out the dispatching advice. And uh, I know okay. the internet's just kind of stinking it up here. I don't know what the problem is. It's a good thing I do my live yeah. show at night. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to pull, because I, I don't see your screen yet either. So we let's do, over. I'll tell you what. Talking about load. Yeah, right. so you've got, okay, so and you just pull it. This is Holly. This is the United Road Load mm -hmm. Board. And, um, yep. uh, is there just anything? Say if you were going to get a load. Yeah. I'm, I'm, we'll just put it in here. Let's put it in Detroit and okay. see what's on here. Cool. If there's anything on here. And you can do, you don't have to put in Detroit. You can put in all of Michigan. And as far as two, let's just put up anywhere. But you can, you can, you know, put it where you're going. Search. Okay, so these are their loads that they've got there out of Detroit, which there are 37 loads. So you got one going to Tennessee out of Rochester. So they do a lot of short stuff. Here's they do. Well, you see why that's paying that much. It should pay more than that. It's going to Montana. You're never getting out of. Oh there, my gosh, so. Montana. That's not oh man. Yeah, Dude, and it's yeah. in Montana. It's not. You're not getting out. Um, yeah, Montana. This is, is tough. that's a good load right there. It's only going 295 miles. It's paying 450 dollars. That's a good load. And Greenfield is um, Indianapolis. So oh, is it? Is Indianapolis it, is a hot is, spot. Is it in op? Yeah. What's that little icon there? Is it an in op truck? Oh, good point. Let's see. I never saw that, that before. That? that must be new. Never seen an X. They usually just say in op. No, let's see. Huh? No key. Oh my oh, god. No, no key. key. Oh. oh, and they want you to pay. Look. They want you to pay $124. Oh, my God. I guarantee you they're wanting you to pay that. Oh, my God. But see, gosh. look. It says find backhaul. And it says no backhauls found. Oh, my God. So, oh, Now, you guys, get, you can take a no-key car as long as, one, you have to have a winch, but two, it has to be rollable. And there are ways to make it rollable. There's a lot of guys out there that know how to do this. You can drop the drivetrain, um, but not just that. There's a button now on a lot of these newer vehicles in the motor that'll make that vehicle rollable. And you can almost find anything on YouTube to make a car rollable, just so everybody knows. Let's see. That's awesome. Right. That's good yeah. advice. But I'll tell you, so here's the thing. Well, how much is it's a it's paying a buck fifty a mile? Yeah. You know, yep. it's still I get I guess do you think that that's priced right? I would probably ask them for more only because <laughs> if they're wanting you to come up, yeah. pop up the hundred and twenty four dollars yeah, too. Exactly. I mean that's it's bad enough you gotta winch this thing, but then you gotta pay hundred and twenty four dollars to get it out of hawk. I I would ask for more money. Exactly. I, so it doesn't mean they'll do it. it but, here's the thing is you know, the driver's thinking the, uh, the driver's thinking this. If you're gonna send me there, I want two bucks mm -hmm. a mile plus mm -hmm. none of that's coming out of my pocket. So yeah, I mean you Right. And and I don't know why I, to me I don't think it's priced high enough. That 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 thing is a total pain. I'll bet you. Yeah, I'll bet you. It's going to be a total. I'll bet you that you need a permission release. There's certain hours you got to talk to this certain guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, forget it's it. probably a repo yard. Yeah. Is what I'm guessing. Oh man, yeah. I, yeah, that 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 load, man, that's a tough load. I wouldn't book well, it. Well, and see, look, they look at this. They've got an eight pack on here. Okay. Yeah. Going three hundred nine miles. They're acting like it's paying three thirteen a mile. It's not. Because you have to split that <laughs> split that up between eight vehicles is really what it is, and see a lot of people think that that's really you got to look at that and realize that's not really what it is per mile. Let's see what is it really per mile. I know, and these things are auto calculated, but uh, mm -hmm. um, hey, bold. I'm only paying one hundred. How much? It's only one hundred twenty dollars, one hundred twenty one dollars per car. So technically, that's not even fifty cents per car because it's three hundred and ten miles. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't you hate that when you uh, when you start yeah. to look at the numbers and you realize it still isn't good? Um, no, 
Yeah. Bold Auto Logistics is asking. He's a seven car in mm-hmm. Illinois. I don't know how far from Chicago, but he's looking for you know. Do you have any ideas for a seven car? Looking for you know seven cars. Out of Chicago. Yeah. What? Well, where would you uh, go? Where would you look? Probably. Let's. Chicago's rough sometimes. I um, know it is, man. And. Uh, and for got- that many cars, uh, I know Interlake lists a lot of cars out of Chicago going to places. I know RPM lists a lot out of Chicago going to places. When I'm looking for my nine, ten car, I put in a minimum of either two or three. Let's just put it two, and let's see. Oh, got to take this off because that ain't gonna work. Um, exactly. And honestly, you should put up, I shouldn't do it this way. I usually do Illinois, Indiana, because you're right on the border, and that way you can grab anything that comes in that direction. But let's right. Just, we'll start from here. And Indiana, well, a lot of Indiana stuff is the customized, uh, you know, you get into, you don't, it's not a lot of standard cars. In fact, that's one of the things that I've noticed is that standard cars actually you know what's interesting in the future we may be getting back to more standard cars but lately a lot of the better paying stuff i think is heavier vehicles customized heavier like that flatbed and stuff although that wasn't even you see this tell them there's there's this five pack on here for uh, metro assertus whatever you want to call them. um of these are not all cars there are four cars and one SUV. Just watch that so, because they do this all the time. Oh, no. um, they are paying 43 cents a mile. Uh, let's see what, what else is on here. And Atlanta runs, you can usually get multi units out of there too. I don't know who he's set up with. That's the problem. Yeah. You got to be set up with all the major brokers. So I just, a- I just asked him if he was signed up with Metro Loads. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, because I, I agree. That's- and then when they don't list, tell you what exactly. Oh, I love the mix mix. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, this could be a good load. I know you'd have to go up north. Four pickups. Um, you, I mean, you're going to. And you're not going very far. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. It depends on what kind of trailer he yeah. has. Like, my, my, yeah, my yeah. six, seven that used to, he could take pickups like that with no problems, but it all depends on what you have. Well, and what's in, a, this. and what's interesting too okay. is if that if 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 possibly that is a customer with some regularity that could turn into a good thing. Right, that's true. Here's a five pack of SUVs for Rightway going over Minneapolis that are paying decent. They're fifty cents a mile, eleven hundred bucks out of Matson. That's man on. But you gotta be careful um, what the are because you can like, make and make it out. Oh, okay, you got it. Pacificas are big. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to be heavy. Your Jeep Cherokees are heavy. Your Jeep Compass is small. Your Jeep Compass is small. GMC Terrain is kind of. That's an SUV, that. like a Buick oh, Enclave. These Jeep Cherokees are lighter than that terrain is. Okay. It all just depends on what you can fit on your trailer. I mean, that that's the biggest thing. And it's Looks like this dealer. motor car carrier place that's listed. As this company has listed several of these packs on here. Yeah. So if it was something you were interested in, you would call them and say, okay, yeah. you know, I could take this many. What can you do for me? Yeah. And it looks like they've got them going. Like, like we've got Franklin, Kentucky here. We've got mm-hmm. St. Louis. We have, um, we have Taylorville, Illinois. I mean, there's, looks like they're listing them left and right right now. But watch this because look, some, some of these are saying like, They've got three drops. Oh, I know. Two I, drops. And, I, I, yeah. I, I really don't like it so you, when five vehicles yeah. get put together and it's three pickups and three drop-offs. That's not a five-pack. No, and that's like creative it's not accounting. bad if they're just right next door. But they're, right. they're not. If the problem with, hey, oh, see this? Tell him, look at this. You see this? Three cars, three SUVs, $1,800 to Memphis, 52 cents a mile out of Elgin. For wow. a six-car, that's good money. That is good. I know Escape, 50 cents a mile doesn't sound Santa good, but that's Fe, good for a six Cobalt. car. And that, and, that, and that mix is yeah. good, too. That's not a problem at all. The only problem you'd have is if they're lying and these don't really run and drive because <laughs> Elgin is going to be Copart. Oh. And then you can't get them on there because they don't sideload. And isn't that a big part of it? Like, you got to recognize these yeah. zip codes and cities and just know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
And Elgin is one of the few that do not sideload trailers. So if they got to run, otherwise you're not getting them on. Yeah, I'll bet that I'll, I'm sure you're, I know you're right. Because otherwise it'd already be booked. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Although they did just pop up here. Okay. Not, uh, well, good Phoenix point. on the green, I don't know if everybody knows, it's been up for the last hour. That's so right. I just put it on. It could have just popped up, or it could have been on here for almost an hour or two. Who knows? So green um, bar on the left is, is, is new. new highlighted in the last yeah. hour. But you have to make that accessible. It doesn't just automatically do it for you. Show us you that, You have to Sue. put that in your... Why don't you show yeah, us that, yeah, and then yeah, we'll do, do some dispatch sheets. Yeah, so if you're searching for okay. vehicles, and you go into your filters, how do you get new vehicles? So what I always do is I put highlights one hour or newer because that's the minimum you can do. And there's no point in doing them for longer than that because they're going to be gone. Um, and then, like I said, if you've got a multi-car trailer, you you don't want to pick up seven places, drop seven places. You would want to put at least a minimum of two so you can kind of filter it. You can also put in there like payment type, whether you only want CODs to show up. Um, I usually work a three-day um you can put it in there for longer, but then you're going to get a lot of stuff you're not going to need because they're so far booked out. Um, you can also put a minimum total pay, and by that, that means for all the whole load, I go by the per vehicle pay instead. Um, and then you can also put in your trailer type. If, you, if you're only an enclosed, you know what I mean? You can also put in here, if you can only carry, say you can't carry trucks, you can take all the vehicles out that you cannot use. Like if you don't want trucks on here, but you just want SUVs and cars, you can put that on there. And all you do for doing that is you're gonna press one, then you're gonna hit your control bar and it will only highlight those two. And then once you get done, then you just go to search vehicles. But I'm gonna take this back off here. Then it's just take all this off. Um, I think that's it that's on there. That's good, that's you really good. You can sort of <laughs> too, but I usually just leave it with the I know. Delivery. I almost never touch this. You know what? It takes too much time, too much thought, and it really yeah. doesn't give me a whole lot of benefit. So No, it's easier just to do it and go. I'm going to take... And you can save that search, too. Oh, yeah. So it, 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 Saving searches. How do you save... Show us how mm -hmm. to save a search. If you don't know how to save a search... But once you go... Once you've got, set it up for your parameters or whatever you want... And that's easy. That's it's a good thing to do. If like you're driving, say you're doing this for yourself and you're driving and you don't want to keep going back in to put the stuff in, just save the search down here. You click the button and then you save it under what you want. Let's, we're just going to name this Chicago. And then you save search. So then now all you have to do is go to saved every time. And there is your search. And that'll save you. All you got to do is press the button. As long as, yep. so when you, save, many steps. when you save a search, make yep. sure you like all the filter settings. Right? Yep. And yeah, it can yeah. save you a lot of time. Set it up. Um, yep. I'm going to take control. We're going to do a few dispatch okay. sheets. And then okay. we're going to end this thing. Actually, I got several documents. Okay. So probably another 15 minutes, everybody. Thank you for watching Dispatching Live. Uh, let's do a little dispatching live station identification here. I'm Jay at Auto Transport Intel. You're watching Dispatching Live with ATI and Sue at Murphy Auto Dispatch Services. And we're going to go back into we're going to go back into the Zoom meeting here. We're going to go for another 15 minutes. We're going to look at some dispatch sheets. So if you are new to dispatching, or if you're a carrier and you just want to learn more about dispatching practices. We're gonna talk a little bit about dispatch sheets. Um, this is an actual, once you book a load on Cars Arrive, this is the dispatch sheet you get. And um, I'm just gonna say, you're gonna you're gonna to add to this, Sue, but I'm gonna first gonna say, when you get a dispatch sheet, look at it right away. Make sure pickup, delivery location is correct. Make sure it looks like the load that you booked. Sometimes the wrong dispatch sheet gets sent. Make sure the money matches, right. the dates match. This is a pretty basic dispatch sheet, which is fine. I mean, it yeah. doesn't need to be fancy, yeah. but, um, no. and make sure special instructions, you know, 
If 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 you yeah. thought you could pick this up at ten o'clock at night and it's clearly that you can't, you need to call back and find yeah. out what you need to do. Or before yeah. you cancel, call the pickup location. You know, it's interesting how oftentimes pickup locations will accommodate you where in in a way that the uh, the the load border broker didn't talk about. However, I just want to say this, this is a great time to address this. If you're dealing with like reindeer, don't go around their rules. All right. Reindeer has a lot of specific rules that, that because they've told their customer certain things about how this is going to go. And they're serious. You're not picking up or delivering after dark. If you think you can work that out with the customer, think again. Let's see. What did that say? Oh, is that um, reindeer? Oh yeah. So reindeer. This is their. This is reindeer. Recently sent this email out, and I shared it. And I, I think I'm, I'm trying to do a public service here. Is uh, that? Yeah. You can't mess with reindeer yes. loads. You need to talk to. No, them. you can't. Don't try yeah. to, because then they'll just, then they won't give you loads Not anymore or whatever. Yeah, you don't want to oh. do it. They won't pay you. Right. I mean, straight up, if you yeah. do something <laughs> that they did not like, you're not getting paid. Yeah, and, and and they have a big staff because they're well organized, and you'll be on the phone for a long time, and then you know, and you don't mm. want to do that. Um, yeah. So, and I I don't think I said anything that's untrue. I'm really trying to be helpful here. Every time you book a load with Reindeer, they give you this long list. Here it is. Reindeer yep. is not your typical broker. It is no joke. Yep. They are not. And they're yep. very serious, and they're very serious with their customers. And they, I think they have a pretty great reputation in the corporate world, and they want to keep they it do. that way. So I just, uh, with reindeer, the biggest thing you need to do is make sure to write, it doesn't matter how minor the damage is, you better write it all down and take pictures of pickup and delivery. Because what happens with reindeer, they always send their stuff to tow companies for like their pickup and delivery sometimes so that tow company may have done something but you're going to be the one blamed for it if you do not watch what you're doing i've had it happen and, and so here's you know it's interesting on um, because they call them terminals right and those right, those right. terminals uh yeah i mean they some of them are just tow companies with a lot mm -hmm. and a gate and so you do mm -hmm. you get you got to play c y a all but every every driver knows that or or they're learning yeah. it the hard way. Yeah. For sure. And that's another thing with reindeer is that, what do they say? You've got to deliver off of our BOL or because the customer doesn't, they don't, they, right? Well, no, what they do, you can use your own BOL like Super Dispatch as long as you're not picking up from one of those terminals. If the terminal has picked up the car from the customer and you go to the terminal to pick up, then you look at you use their BOL that the terminal pick that they did, plus your own. I do both, and I think and that's right because I've had damage. Both. Yeah, I've had damage on there that the terminal didn't write down, and I wasn't going to get blamed for. So I immediately called Reindeer and told them what was going on. They said to still use the terminal one and my own, but write the damage on there, take the pictures, and then when they get it to the customer, do not show them your bill of lighting. You only show them the terminal one. And, but as long as you let someone at Reindeer know what's going on and you send them the pictures ahead of time, then you don't have a problem. And I and I think uh, the final note on this is that because they don't want the customer seeing all these different inspections and feeling confused. So the goal of Reindeer right. is to make it a simple transaction for the customer. And what's yeah. important about this is yep. we're going to see a lot more of that in the future. That's what I call the Carvana effect is that. The customer right. doesn't want to ever right. feel confused. They just want their car. And, and, and that puts extra pressure and burden on the shipper, on the carrier. But if you know what you're doing and you know these rules, you go, it'll take you a long way. Yeah. Uh, let's look at... And by the way, here is a reindeer dispatch sheet. Um, there's your load assignment. Again, order number, the rate... Pick up location, delivery location, 
vehicle information. Always want to check it when you get those dispatch sheets. And you see that, again, yes. they got a pickup Always. window, 8 to 2. They're serious. If you're not going to be there till 4, yep. call Reindeer and let them know. They want to help you figure it out. They don't want to learn the hard way that that didn't happen. Yes, because they consider all of their customers VIPs. And what that one. amounts to is if you can't pick up by two, they'll have a terminal pick it up, and you can pick it up from the terminal instead. Which is not always the easiest thing, but it's a lot no. better than having a talk afterwards. Well, and sometimes personally, I think picking up at the terminal um, is easier because you're not going to a residence. A good point. And all of reindeers expect door-to-door -door service. Exactly. So, <laughs> and I, I, if you're a big car carrier, you might want to pick up from the terminal instead. Um, here is a Metrogistics uh, dispatch sheet, which theirs is interesting because their dispatch sheet almost looks like an OEM new car splat chart. Um, mm -hmm. because yep. in the damage, they're looking for damage codes, which I think actually confuses some people. Um, but, oh, yes. but I think, right. I mean, I know they have a process when they sign up carriers, but I still think that, I think their BOL dis confuses some carriers even still. Well, I think it, honestly, it needs pictures. If they want them to use it, I think it needs pictures. And that's why they are set up. Metro is set up with super dispatch. So that you can just use Super Dispatch as your um, bill of lading instead of using this. But if you don't, you have got to use this bill of lading. Otherwise, you will not get paid. And there, look, there it says right on there. And as you, we're going to talk about your dispute rating here in a second. But there it says failure to do so will result in payment delays. Failure to complete this form will result in non-payment. It's right there. You're going to have a yep. tough time yep. disputing them after the fact. Yeah. Which, you know, and I think all these carriers that we're talking or these companies like Metro and Reindeer, I mean, they, they take their organization very seriously. They take their customers yep. very seriously. And that's what customers want. And that's why they do it. Right. Um, and I know it makes it harder, but as a carrier, but that's just, this is part of the world we're in. Um, ACI transport, this is the dispatch sheet, the carrier confirmation. Again, same information, just in different places. Pick up, drop off, right. instructions, windows, carrier names, rate confirmation. You always want to check it. It's easy when you're busy booking and searching and to, you know, you get the carrier confirmation and you, and you let it sit in your email inbox for five hours. It's easy to do, but you don't, it's a bad habit. Mm -hmm. Right. You want to check it. You got it. If nothing else, you got to check the money. Right. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is right way dispatch. Um, I believe they use freight dragon. After a while, you start to, yeah. you know, cause there's, you'll see this template in other places and it's yeah. based on the technology they yeah. use. Right. Which is their, their CRM right. to manage their leads. And then it's connected to their dispatch um yeah. right way out of transport dispatch id carrier info pickup delivery disclaimer now i think this might be because this one doesn't have money on it isn't there another page then that you get from right it is it's the second page has the money and the type of car and the vin number okay all right so i, I yeah right I got there's the always a two-page deal right yeah. right so, um, okay, so we got that. And by the way, I just want to say this. I like, I, I saw this in my email inbox. I like this. I like that here they're telling me information. They're trying to get it moved. I, I appreciate brokers that try to keep getting me to move a car by giving me more information. Now, it might, it might, right. it, it, it might feel like spam. It's easy to just ignore it real quick. But sometimes this stuff comes in handy. Because well, here's what I don't well, understand. Sometimes you can find a, a load with that wasn't even on the board yet because they sent you these emails. Exactly. And, and, and as we move forward in technology, getting this stuff in your phone, in your like right like mm -hmm. dispatch center is trying to really push the notification envelope. Um, that, yeah. that will really help drive uh, more efficient uh, booking 
But what I don't understand is the emails that come in and they're like multiple page Excel spreadsheets and I got to look at every state and it's totally disorganized. <laughs> I don't even understand those emails. Yeah. That's United Road. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're right? I mean, it's, I didn't want to say it. Um, and, and that's good. It's good <laughs> feedback for United Road. Really. I, I don't even know how to read those emails. I don't, I don't bother. Yeah. And, and you know, it's funny. Yeah, they have them in like boxes and you, stuff like that. You'll, you'll have carriers <laughs> yeah. like, forward those emails to you right like hey check this yeah. out i'm like yeah. yeah i need like 10 minutes to get through that i don't even yeah i gotta start with alaska <laughs> why <laughs> yeah <laughs> well at least they're alphabetical if that's the case <laughs> i know right oh man all right let's go to the dispute rating we're on the way we got five minutes left in the show this is going to be perfect we're going to round this out this is this really happened sue what is going on yep so I booked a, I, I'm a broker too. And so I booked a load for a customer of mine that was in um, Byron, Mississippi, going to Wichita, Kansas and gave the load to the driver. The driver calls up and starts cussing me out anyways, <laughs> um, because he had told us that he would pay the storage. And I told him he didn't have to, but they said they would. I said, if not, let me get my customer to pay it. Oh no, we'll pay for it. Well, they call and they start cussing us out saying um, we can't pay it. I said, well, you told us you would pay it. Well, my dispatcher never told me, told you that they would pay it. I said, yes, they did. I said, but it's, that's, that's beside the point. I can take care of it as long as I got some time to deal with it. And anyways, you start going off about how we're making all this money. And he's, now keep in mind, this Camaro is a burned out Camaro. There is nothing left to this except the frame. He's, I don't know why my customer bought this, but anyways. And he said that my customer was going to go sell this car for $20,000. I laughed at him, of course, <laughs> and that he was making all the money on this. And I said, look, first off, I don't know what my customer's doing with this. I don't care. You knew this is what, what it was because I always tell everybody up front what is going on. I'm not one of these brokers that will say, oh, oh, I didn't know it was burned out. I look them up. I find out for you. <laughs> so anyways, I said, look, I'm not going to deal with you. You're not going to call me up and act like this. This is not professional and I'm not doing it. And I hung up on him and I canceled the load. Well, he went behind my back, called my customer, negotiated another rate and took the car anyways. Wow. So which, now here, I'm my customer, if he wants to do that, that's fine. And he knew I was going to do this. So he was ready for me. As soon as he got the bill of lading from this driver, he sent it to me and he said, do what you do, Sue. And um, so I did. I sent them the bill of lading where it showed they took my load anyways without my knowledge, shall we say. And I sent them where I canceled it. And then they said, I did not provide enough information. I'm like, what more information do they need? They've got a bill of lading that proves that they did what they did. And I've got a contract that says, if you go behind my back and do this, you're going to get a negative. And they took it off. <laughs> and, 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 you know, are you telling me this all started because of a storage fee? Yeah, well, yeah, it started with the storage fee and the fact that the driver was not professional in any way, shape, or form, uh, or his dispatcher. I'm not, I think it was a combination of both. So, so it, here's the thing is, I think one of the things at play here is it's become very common to like bag on brokers and bag on dispatchers as if the only yeah. way any of this actually happens is by the carrier. Now, without the carrier, no right. cars get moved. I'm pro carrier. Carriers right. deserve to get right. paid of the bulk of the right. money. I agree with that. But there are other right. people in this ecosystem that help this happen. There right. are. I mean, it's just like the restaurant. The chef is not the only celebrity right. at the restaurant. The maitre d' seated right. you. Somebody washed the dishes. Right. Somebody owns the restaurant. Right. There's accounting. There's all. There's advertising. There are all kinds of people that work at the restaurant. It's not just the chef. So if the right. chef hates the maitre d' and wants all the credit, you can't just push him out the window and say, this is how it works. It's not right. right. And it doesn't right. help the way this industry functions. Right. I agree. And I mean, they are the ones, central dispatch is the one that tells you straight up, they're not allowed to do this. So if you have a contract with somebody, you cancel that contract. It's a moot point. There should not be anybody doing any of this stuff, but then they don't even back up what they tell you they're going to do either. 
So I, yeah, I've got another email out to them. As you can tell, they haven't answered me yet. So. Well, and that's why Central <laughs> Dispatch won an award Tuesday night for what, I mean, for. you know, for what just being, <laughs> being sent, being the same Central Dispatch that everybody knows, man, you can go anywhere yeah. you go and you, you, if you, if you research Central Dispatch, you just keep finding out more negative yeah. stuff. And the thing is that, yeah, it's the number one load board. Yeah, that's where most people go to look for loads. But it's also where, I mean, it can be a viper pit if you don't know what you're doing. Well, my thought is, see, Central has been around for a very long time, as we all know. And I've been in this business for 15 years. And Central was just starting out way back in the day when I was starting out, too. And back in the day, they helped the transporter. Because that's what I was in the beginning. I was a transporter. And like, if somebody didn't pay you, they harassed them. They called them. I, that, that they wow. were the ones that taught me how to file against a broker. Wow. Bond. What they literally that? called me up and told me how to do it. Well, what is that? 50, well, it's, I was, it's over 15 years. So. Okay. So I mean, my, um, point, my point is that that so was a what are long we time about? ago. That was before all the corporate acquisitions. Long time. Am I right. Right. Yes. It was before they sold it. Yeah, yes, exactly. Exactly. Yep. Okay. I'm not trying to bag on corporations, but when you get when your customer service gets lost in the mergers and the shareholders, it's time to right. fix the problem. Right. And, so, and that's where we're at. It's 2020, and there's a lot of people outside the gates unhappy now. Right. Well, they've got to have some accountability, I think. Well, yeah. I, the, me, Kenny, Kenny and me have been talking about this, too, because she feels the same way. I know Mark doesn't feel that way, but he's also on the other end of it a little bit right. because that's what he's trying to well, do. But, and he, yeah, and he understands, and he's smart. But still, I mean, if they're going to take all of our money, which we're talking millions of dollars, millions they're, of dollars, they're grossing over every a year. million. They're grossing over a million a month just on carriers. Oh yeah, just carriers. We're just not carriers. even including that's brokers. just carriers, and that's just the. And they probably got. Rate. Two people working there now. Yeah. <laughs> so they've got to have a little bit accountability as like making sure that the people do have insurance, making sure the people are, their authority is active. They're now, they're saying, no, this is your responsibility. This is your responsibility. In the beginning, it was not like that. In fact, they would pull them off of there if they didn't have proper insurance or proper, your authority had been revoked. You were pulled off until it was fixed. They no longer do any of that stuff anymore. So we're going to do this because I try to keep it professional. I'm going to let you go. I want to thank you for joining me today. Um, this no was, this was awesome. Um, yeah. I love what's happening with dispatching live. I appreciate your input. I think we're really helping some people, uh, get information yeah. they need. I think we found some good, uh, searches and routes today and it is just awesome. So thank you for, thank you for joining me for this hour. Um, oh, and I just turned my video back on. Hopefully my internet doesn't take a dive. <laughs> but listen, uh, thank you so much, Sue. And we will be in touch no soon. Problem. And um, listen, okay. hey, before I let you go, guys, listen, if you're looking for dispatch services, um, Sue is a professional dispatcher and broker. And if you've got questions about dispatching, brokering, if you're a carrier or a shipper and you could use help getting your auto transport complete i put the uh link murphy auto transport services.com in the live chat okay cool thank you sue thanks All so right, much thanks, for your Jay. time you have thank a great you. day okay all right you too okay, thanks okay, peace bye all right bye all right cool so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to end that meeting and then i need to uh I need to, we've got a, we got a rocky re-entry here. That's okay. Bada bing, bada boom. And let's get that set up there. Okay, cool. So I'm back. So listen, guys, thank you so much for joining me today on Dispatching Live with ATI. Uh, Sue at Murphy Auto Transport. She was the uh, co-host and dispatch guide, and I'm the host. This is my channel. Auto Transport Intel is the car shipping business channel. You know, I'm live every Tuesday night with Tuesday Nights Live, and so I'll be live again Tuesday night. Tune in, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central, and then I'm doing the Dispatching Live on a monthly basis, 
And so if you need help, send me an email, autotransportintel at gmail.com. I appreciate you joining me today. I'm live on the CTS Facebook page, the Auto Transport Intel Facebook page, and you're here with me on YouTube. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you watch this on demand and missed the live show, please do comment below. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, always comment. They pretty much all will unless they ask you to use their own app. Yes, thank you, DP. DPIL36, I, I meant to respond to you, Bolt. Does Ready Auto Cars Arrive United accept Super Dispatch BOL? I'm pretty sure that they, they pretty much all do. That's the perfect response. Thanks so much for adding that. I do appreciate it. This is an ecosystem. It's a community. Um, and I'm not the end-all, be-all expert, but I do know a lot about dispatching because I used to do it. It is a hard job. Um, and uh, we, we all got to work together. This is a, this is a tough industry. And I, I want to say it again. I believe the carrier does most of the work. I believe the carrier should get most of the money. But there are many other people in this industry helping make all of these logistics happen for millions of people. And uh, there's a lot of work to do. So let me know how I can help. I hope to see you on Tuesday night. Thanks so much for tuning in. You take care. And uh, we'll, see, we'll see you in Dispatching Live again.